Hey, this is Matt Larson. I'm at the Infocom show in Florida at the Digico booth. We're showing off the brand new Digico Quantum 852. Very big, powerful, dual redundant system. Let's take a quick look at it. You've got dual redundant power supplies with convection cooled, so it's the quietest system we actually have. It has eight MADI ports here two complete fiber optic opticore loops each one this could have five surfaces and 14 racks plus an additional 14 racks off of this loop in addition i've got two usb ports uh, 2.0 a usb 3.0 a display port a gigabit uh, network switch built in i can also have waves here so if i take waves i can just take a connection right to my network switch take another cable to my laptop another one to my server i'm all good to go I've got uh, sync in the, built into the engine as well. When I look over here in the center section, you actually have three of these blue cards. It's four channels of Ultimate Stadius microphone preamp, four channels of Mike the Apprentice uh, output 32-bit cards, and then four channels of AES in and out times three. In addition, if we look up in this section, typically you're going to get 16 GPIO uh, in and out, plus a MIDI in, out, and through. You could add a spare, but on the Quantum 8, this is the redundant spare part is built in. So you could use it as a redundant system, or you could just use it for expansion to have more ins and outs in another universe of MIDI running in. Uh, you also have SMPTE in and out with level control. There's video one and video two, input and output. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a walk around to the front of the desk so you can see all the action is. So as we take our first gander at the desk, you'll notice that it's got three beautiful screens up on the top on my meter bridge. It has on the left side, the right side and the center, an additional very large screens. We also have down on the surface, instead of the layer and bank buttons, we actually have um, touch screens here, the left center right. In addition, there's also an additional 69 touch screens for selecting anything that you want to select. Now, in the design of it, what we did is we actually have a computer behind every single one of these screens allowing us to do any kind of graphics we want. So you can, as an engineer, come over here, pick any bank you'd like to choose from. You can also scroll through, maybe do a next or previous. You can scroll over and you can also customize any one of these video screens. You also notice like here, we've got video content. There's a built-in camera. So you could either have look at your monitor engineer to see if he's even at his position. Maybe that's why he's not answering the intercom. You could put your diagnostics or, or whatever you want, your snapshots up on this video screen. So anything is customizable. Now in addition with Digico, we've got a great snapshot automation on all of our product line with uh, uh, crossfade times on faders, panning, EQ. Every channel can be unique on every single scene. We also use a lot of macros. Macros are used for if I just want to get to a particular fader level or I want to mute something or I want to turn an option on or off. Here I have 10 pages uh, or 10 macros with eight pages. So you get 80 macros here. You still have your contact closures in the back that could fire off macros. You could even use a, an iPad to do another 256 macros. But on top of that, on the channel strips, each one of them has four additional macros, A, B, C, and D, so you could program these to be whatever you want. And they're not just for an input channel, they could be for anything, to turn on any feature or off any feature. But we also give you an A and a B switch here, so instead of me reaching up here, you could just toggle that from the down below by your faders. Now you could also use this for like QLab, like my, my various cues here, or my talkback mic, or whatever you want. We also have these four AUGS controllers to control your AUGS ends, but these are also mappable encoders. So I could use these to be mapped to anything you want internally, externally. So this is a quick little overview. Uh, we do have the, the desk channel count is 384 inputs, 192 AUGS ends or groups, uh, 64 by 64 matrix, it's got the mustard processing, it's got the spice rack where you get 32 uh, spice rack, chili rack uh, units. Um, it also has, you'll notice down here, it has the ability to have a, a talkback microphone mounted onto there. So you can just put your talkback mic as a placement. The desk should start shipping in, in November. One of the great features here is I can convert any session from like say an SD10 to a Quantum 8 or to a 338 so I can go up or down the entire product line. As we sit here and talk about this desk, there's so many cool features, I kind of get thirsty. Make sure to include the website. Grab a little something to drink.
Casey. Check more out. Look at the Digico website at digico.org. Have a great day.